It's the biggest whirlpool I've ever seen, and it's heading straight for us. We'll be sucked right in. Dashi, prepare to move the octopod to calmer waters. Attention, octonauts. There is a giant whirlpool what? heading for the octopod. Please, put away any items that could fall or be broken. Activate launch now. That tunip, you found some strange objects in the garden pod. Well, let's go. Jumping jellyfish, they're eggs, but who or what laid them here? <laughs> What's tickling me toes? A vast eto tickler, come out wherever you are. <laughs> in the garden pod. I saw it in the library. I almost captured it. It was a snake. <gasps> a snake? On the octopod? Are you sure, Peso? Yes. It was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No. No. That's the one. A sea crate. They're the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There. Aha. So she snuck in in the middle of the night. <gasps> the coconut. It's gone. Tweak. Spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi, you head left, and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> But there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah, how did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. 
just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Crack! Keep pulling! Tweak, deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Kim. Must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! Narwhals! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! I know that voice! Boris? Ah! Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes? Until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, three narwhals are trapped under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish. Narwhals are whales, and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while, and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We're feeling very weak. Ah, it's caught on something. Ah, ah. Yes, that did it. Ah, ah. There it is. <gasps> Ah, uh, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. Tweak will need the Gup D. <laughs> All right, Cap. I'll have them out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. It's real stuck. That ice is just too thick. Careful, Quasi. You can't let them notice you. Swim under the sharks as quietly as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. 
Hey, that looks like a nice snack, man. Clam. That's an egg. That's an egg. Junip, you found Jimmy Junior. Who's <laughs> Ah, we found all ten. Great job, Octon. <laughs> Shellington, what did he say? He said my eggs are hatching. Hooray! <laughs> oh wow! Look. Yeah. You're a little daredevil, aren't you? That's Jimmy Junior. A chip off the old block. Wow, oh, look at my baby. I love every single one of you. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger home. Uh, what is he doing? I think he said he's digging out his burrow with his mouth. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Done. Fit as a fiddlefish. Here's your last patient, Peso. And how are you today? Crabby. Because, well, I'm a crab and my shell hurts. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. Let's take a look. Now, don't be nervous. This X ray viewer just lets me see inside your shell. Uh -huh. You've got a small stone in there, Captain. May I? <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. What's that? <laughs> a young sperm whale, and he looks like he needs help. Hello. Are you all right? My name is... Oh, oh, don't hurt me! Don't be scared. I'm here to help. Oh, get, get away! But I... Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. <laughs> Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 Walker! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if... Peso? Me? <laughs> Him? Dashi, send me a picture of a... Orca? Already on it, Captain. Sperm whales, there's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. 
You thought he was an orca? <laughs> oh, he is black and white like an orca. But he's tiny. Ha! Huh. I will never find her. Shift me, whiskers. One of those crabs is inside the cup D. Give us back our leader, giant crab. That's not a giant crab. That's our gob. Oh, whatever it is, it ain't our leader. <laughs> Fiddler crabs. We are the Octonauts. We need to work together to stop our gup and save your leader. If we don't, your homes will be destroyed. <laughs> we will let you help us. No more snapping. And you may tend to my claw. Stop that gob! <laughs> There's only one way to catch it now! Buttons! Peso! Uh, look out! Lappity flippers! Victory is mine! Uh, uh, Captain! The Gup D made too many tunnels under the sand! It's created a sinkhole! Hold on, Peso! What? Yeah! <laughs> Quasi, give me your paws! Ah! Ouch! Allow me, mon ami! The octoscope! Octonauts, grab off! What now, Captain? We'll have to swing for it. Ready? Ready! <laughs> Good work, Octonauts. Luckily, none of the Fiddler Crab's tunnels were destroyed by the sinkhole. Oh, thank you. You saved us. Our beach is clean, the giant crab is defeated, and our homes are safe. This calls for a celebration! Hey! <laughs> a sunken ship! This could be it! Well done, Quasi! Keep us posted! I'm going after that sword, me hearties! <laughs> Freezing waters are shivering me whiskers. Ah, oh, what a glorious ship. The Pirate King! The sword is as good as mine. Strange, the water just got warmer. This is definitely it. Quasi! Come in, Quasi! We've lost contact, Captain. His radio's been damaged. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, we've lost radio contact with Quasi. He may be hurt or in trouble. Dashy, keep trying to radio him. Peso, into the Gup A with me! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Got it, Cap. <sighs> Quasi to octopod. Come in, me hearties. Ah, me radio's broken. 
But I've still got a Pirate King sword to find. <laughs> okay now, where's that X that marks the spot? <gasps> that warm water again. Yow! A flying sword. Yow! <laughs> Telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurking. Ah! Here I am! No, over here! No, down here, matey! Arr! Two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me that the X that marks the spot is right behind this now! Aha! The last one! Stand aside, ya scurvy sword! Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. <laughs> huh? Admit it, my lionfish impersonation had you fooled. Well, I suppose, but only for a second. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Was he? In here. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll stay in there if you know what's good for you. He's heading back to his home. Quasi, are you okay in there? Yes, Captain. Carry on with the plan. Come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. We'll buy you some more time. On to step three. Here he comes. Ready, Mortimer? Ready for the performance of a lifetime, dear boy. Sea snakes! Yes, we are one, two, three sea snakes. Be gone, or we'll bite you inside out. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Um, don't overdo it. Ah, yeah, I, I think I'll take another way home. Excellent, Mortimer. Another five star performance. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Peso, any luck? Captain, I think I see the bottle. But it's stuck. Oh no, the eel's taking a shortcut. Peso, the eel is coming back, fast. You've got to get out of there, now. Almost got it. Yes, time to skedaddle. Ah, let's pass up. What are you doing in my home? Peso, grab on. Yeah. Nice work in there, Peso. Was he? Mission accomplished. We're on our way to pick you up. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Captain. Huh? As for you, Sir Mortimer, don't think you can fool me this time. I wouldn't do that if I were you, dear boy. Sea snake bites are poisonous. I know that, but these aren't sea snakes. They're sea snakes! Yeah! Hop on! We've got to get this medicine back to the vegetables. There you go. You'll be better in no time. The captain tells me your performance was quite brilliant. It was. We couldn't have done it without your help, Mortimer. A mimic octopus is always happy to put on a show. And I have a new impression now to add to my repertoire. Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi, stop that stew! Quasi! Yeah. Chopper! Pow! Ah. 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 
to the kitchen. Jump. Say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad now. Where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gup E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the Guppe. A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Octonauts, we have a saltwater crocodile who is lost and in danger from the icy cold water. Our mission is to find him and take him home. Quasi, peso, to the guts. Remember, Octonauts, this is a huge creature we're looking for. If it feels threatened or scared, it may attack us. Aye, and the way it nearly swatted me gut, that tail could crush us like a tin can. It would more likely chomp you with its massive jaws and teeth. Keep a sharp lookout, me hearties. That croc could be lurking anywhere, below us, behind us, or above us. What happened? He might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. <laughs> After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octahatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The croc's attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Hey, sir. Stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashing, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. Hot. 
and set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain, it's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Front view, check. Side view, check. Oh, hi, Quasi, Professor. Wow, how'd you see us? With my rear view camera, check. check. What in the seven seas is this thing? A diving suit or a gup? Both. It's as strong as a gup, but small enough to get into tight spaces where the gups can't go. We call it the, the Octomax suit. suit. The Octomax suit, eh? He looks perfect for wrestling sea monsters. When can I try it out? Not now, Quasi. We have a mission of our own, remember? Oh, right. Planting. Coral. Not just any coral. Deep sea coral. And it can only be planted in the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone? Why didn't you say so? Let's go. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Quasi. Fast, Professor. Over there. Uh, perfect, Quasi. Psst. Over there. It's our lucky day. Food. Food? What kind of food? How much? What's it look like? I can't see it very well. Oh, of course you can't. We're gulper eels, remember? We can't see anything very well. I know. I'm over here, by the way. Oh, kind of looks like sea snakes. Uh, they're wriggling all over the place. Now let's open our jaws and... <gasps> oh. You get anything? No. You? Nothing. And those aren't sea snakes. Then what were those wiggly things? Tentacles. Octopus tentacles. O -o Octopus, my all-time favorite. Ooh, we can't let him get away. Uh, hey, watch where you're going. Sorry. Now come on. The deep sea coral should feel right at home here. Tentacles straight ahead. Oh, yes, I can almost taste them. <laughs> Professor, look out! <laughs> We've been inked. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! He's not there. Oh, no. Face up! Buddy! Over here! Frank! Are you all right? We're here to... ...rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe... Hi there. ...and Eddie... How you doing? ...and LaFord... Hello! ...and that's old Pops. Oh, uh, howdy! You mean... Water bears can actually live down here. We sure can. <laughs> no. But don't you little mateys get hot? I told you we was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Captain, the lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashie. You water bears should come with us. No, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Harder the better. No, oh, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on. Did you say lava? <gasps> Run for your lives! <laughs> 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 Our little legs don't go so fast. Here. Hop on. Don't mind if I do. I'll follow the fence. Now that's a Travel and stop. Oh, I stay out. Is it just me? Or is it getting hotter in here? Yeah. Oh. 
lava. We have to hurry. This would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Come on, Hazel. My Uncle Gary always says it doesn't matter how big or fast you are, you just gotta be tough. How can you be sleepy at a time like this? When water bears get really hot, we go to sleep until it's safe to wake up. You see what I mean? Just a little bit further. Look out! Whoa! Everybody okay? I think so. Water bears? Yeah, yeah. we're good. Are you okay? Never better. Wake me when it cools down. Good. Now let's move. Wait, where's Frank? Uh, he was just here. Yo, Frankie! Frank, where are you? He must have fallen off. He's not here. But that means he's somewhere back there. On the other side of those rocks? We can't leave him behind. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find a way to get through that rock pile. But we'll have to hurry. Allow me, Captain. <laughs> is only a few years old, but it's already full of life. Aye, this reef is busy, even if it's not very big. Hey, it's big enough. G who said that? I'm right here. Show yourself. Oh, here I am. I'm a frogfish. Name's Anton. Wow, you look so much like the reef. I didn't see you there, matey. That is the idea. I'm camouflaged, which means I blend in with what's around me. It keeps me safe from bigger fish who want to eat me, like those sharks. Sharks? Everybody hide. Hmm, I thought I smelled food. Let's head to a bigger reef. See what I mean? <laughs> you fooled them, matey. Fascinating. These other fish can't blend in like the frogfish, but the reef has lots of places for them to hide. This reef keeps us and all our friends safe. It is our home sweet home. Oh, look out! Woo! Sorry about that. We fixed the pedals. Now the gump F steering isn't working right. Aye, and as soon as you fix the steering, something else will break. I know. She's the first gump I ever built, so I can't give up on her. Maybe if I pedal a little faster. Yeah, that's good. Whoa! No, that's bad. Tweak, Maisie. Are you all right? Yep. But now I gotta fix the steering, the pedal, the rudder, the top, the bottom. Ah. Is there anything on the gup F that doesn't need fixing? The seats are still comfy. <laughs> Captain, the storm tracker shows that there's a hurricane on the way. Octopod to Quasi, Shellington and Tweak. There's a hurricane heading your way. And it's moving fast. Take cover in the gups. There's not enough time to return to the octopod. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll ride out the storm in the gub sea. Very good. Barnacles out. There's a hurricane about to hit, matey. Storm coming. Oh, everyone take cover. Peso, 
Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, twas awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. What was it, matey? Were you attacked by some kind of rubbish monster? Not now, Quasi. These pelicans need to rest. No, it's all right. Tis a tale that needs to be told. Old Charlie's the name, and this here's me fishing crew. We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip in the morning. And we'd just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them. Prepare to plunge! That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast, then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, we were tricked. Twasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashy and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. <laughs> but why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Uh, Cap, we're already in the launch bay. Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Dashy, can you track it on the map? Already on it, Captain. That must be it. It's drifting over the octopod right now. Peso, you stay here and look after the pelicans. Everybody else, let's head to the surface. One person the right size for the job. <laughs> Me, of course. <laughs> I'm not even know a shortcut. <laughs> Yo Klaus! Oh, I have come to help save my home, yeah? Oh, and your ship. <laughs> All right. All you have to do is reconnect the red wires. Oh, with my long arms and crabby claws, that should be easy. <laughs> oh, careful! The red wire, not the blue one. Oops, I'm sorry. I cannot see you, remember? <laughs> uh, right. Captain, look! Tweak, you've got to hurry up! Okay, left a bit. No, right a bit. Captain, we're going to crash in five... No, don't cut the wire! Four! Whoops! Three! Come on, mateys! Two!
Good work today, Octonauts. The Yeti Crab is back home, the hydrothermal vents are safe. And the Gubex is in ship shape. There's just one thing left. Oh, what's that, matey? Is there anything we can do about this smell? Hey, so? <laughs> Quasi? It's like the flooding caused a lot of damage. There must be more creatures out there who need our help. Octonauts, let's do this. Well done, Octonauts. Everything looks back to normal. Let's head home before it gets too dark. I'll be right there, Captain. It looks like part of the riverbank has collapsed. I just want to make sure no creatures were hurt. All right, Shellington. Captain, Quasi's found something. Feast your eyes on this. Hmm, an egg. It was just sitting there, all alone on the riverbed, Captain. We'd better get it back to where it belongs. But where's that? Ah, the shell is hard and thick. This egg was laid on land. We should show it to, um... Ah! Ah, Shellington! Shellington, where are you? Over here, Captain! Ow! Oh, it stung my leg! What? What stung your leg? One of them! There they are! Don't let them get away! We're under attack! Quick, everyone back to the car! Oh. Yeah. out there, Shellington. Two creatures came out of nowhere, and one of them stung me in the leg. Oh, what were those things? They had bills and claws and... <gasps> Hold on. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters. A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. Whatever it was that stung you, it looks serious. How are you feeling, Shellington? Uh, not too good, Captain. Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can make you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters. Octonauts, we need to find a new home for our friends, the Mudskippers. Mudskippers, eh? Fascinating. I've never seen one up close. They'll need a place with lots of mud. There's another mangrove forest nearby, Captain. This one's not flooded. There should be plenty of mud there. If we leave now, then we should be able to get there by tomorrow morning. Hey, don't go out of your way on our account or nothing. Oh, um, we happen to be heading that way anyway. What a co-winky dink. I ask you, what are the odds? Junip, let's prepare a nice muddy space for our guests in the garden pod. Dashi, set a course for the mangrove forest. Already on it, Captain. <laughs> You'll be all right in here, Mudskippers. Ah, the mud's a little lumpy, but uh, I guess it ain't terrible. Yeah, not bad. I skipped in worse. Good. Well, uh, we'll see you in the morning then. Yeah, good night. Night. Oh, what in the world? Captain, what's that horrible noise? I'm not sure, Peso. It sounds like it's coming from the garden pod. <laughs> What's going on? Just some a situation here. My mud wrestling. It was in my mud. Your mud? Forget about it. It's my mud now. I'm not listening. Talk to the fish. <laughs> Easy, mud skippers. We just want to. <laughs> oh! 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 They're heading for the 
HQ. Yes, but in your eyes. Hey, whoever jumps the highest gets all the mud to himself. You're on. Check this out. <laughs> you call that a jump? This is a jump. Hey, jump jellyfish. What's going on? Oh, duh. These mud skippers are having a rumble over the mud and they sure fight dirty. Of course, I should have known. Mud skippers like to have their own space and they often fight over it. Uh oh. Then there's only one way to settle this. We'll have to separate them until we reach the mangrove forest in the morning. Ha! Ah. Peso, Quasi, catch! Quasi, scoop up some mud and head for the game pod. Peso, you take some mud to the launch bay, and I'll head back to the garden pod. Hey, that's my mud! Come back! Sorry about this. Out of our way, octopus. That's our lunch. Ah, and it's getting cold. I'm a Dumbo octopus, to be precise, and I must insist that you seek lunch elsewhere. Or what? Or I'll be forced to use my tentacles on you. Ha! You're no lion's mane jellyfish. Those don't sting. Now, out of our way. Hmm. I did warn you. <laughs> and now we make our getaway. Oh, 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 I can't see. I can't see. There they are. After them! Okay, Captain, your turn. Hmm. Cha! Hoi! Yow! <laughs> Octonauts, the HQ is now all clear. Let's spread out and untangle the rest of the octopod. Cha! Hoi! Yow! Inkling, how's it going out there? Uh, well, Captain, we're surrounded on all sides by dogfish. I'm not sure how much ink I have left. We need Leo out here. And fast. Understood. Tweak, tentacle report, please. We okay, Cap? The sleeping quarters are all clear. As are all the chutes and working areas. All that's left is... The bubble engine. That's the tangliest tangle of all. Octonauts, this will take all of us working together. No, Captain. It's too complicated. It's not even in the book. I need to do this one on my own. Peso, what is going on? When can I live? We've just got one last tangle to take care of, and it's a big one. Tunip, I'll need you to step outside. You can do this, Peso. <sighs> Leo, this will be over in a second and you may feel an uncontrollable need to laugh. <laughs> Captain, we are fully untangled. Amazing work, Peso. Octonauts, prepare for super flush. Tweak. Hold on, everybody. Three, two, one, flush! You're going home, Leo. Plug your password. A vast. It's a whale. Oh, but it's a blue whale, not a sperm whale. Hmm. Keep looking, everyone. There. Nope, that's a humpback whale. I'll do that. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little faint. Oh, you're feeling faint. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Hurry, Captain. They're getting worse. We're coming up on another whale now. Uh, I can't tell what kind it is, Captain. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, a sperm wheel! Excellent.
Excellent. Peso, you'd better suit up and... Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you stay away from my baby. Oh, the whale's mother. Sperm whales will do anything to protect their young. Hang on, everyone. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. The mother whale's not giving up. Peso, Quasi, I'll keep her distracted. You get the louse on her. But how are we going to do that? Mr. Louse, this is it. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can make it. Oh, for goodness sake. But this is where you belong, on a sperm whale. I'm just too weak. Hurry, Peso. I don't know how long I can keep her distracted. I've run into some complications, Captain. I'm going to have to perform an emergency lousectomy. Lousectomy? Lousectomy? But I'll need my medical bag. Tell me what you need, matey! Tweezers, Quasi. I need tweezers. <sighs> now I can't see inside you, so let me know when I'm getting close. A little, a little to the left. Steady. Oh, too far left. Now to the right. Steady. You've almost got him. Steady. Gotcha! Oh! Oh! <laughs> hey! Hey! I'm home! How do you feel? Oh, now that I'm back on a whale, I feel great! Thanks, Doc! And what about you? I feel great! Captain, the louse is on the whale. I repeat, the louse is on the whale. Both he and Sponge are doing fine. Great work, Peso! Hello? Hey, can't the guy have dinner in peace? Oh, excuse me. I thought you were... Ah, urchins! Oh, no. That's the strand of kelp Shellington's holding on to. <laughs> Shellington, come in, Shellington. Your kelp strand is loose. Oh, um, I just want to sleep. Just a few minutes more, Mum. <laughs> Deep flippers! Captain! Come in, Captain! The urchins are coming! The urchins are coming! Lots of them! Uh, quasi! Yeah. What? Sound the octo alert! Octonauts to the Gup A! <laughs> are heading for the kelp forest, and we've got to stop them. Everyone, let's... Uh, hang on, where's Shellington? Captain, the urchins, they destroyed the roots of the kelp he was holding on to. Captain, look! Shellington, Pearl and Perry are drifting out to sea. Dashy, Quasi, you take the Gup A to rescue Shellington. Tunip, Tweak, we'll help Peso with the urchins. There's no time to lose. Everyone, into positions. Quasi, Dashy, any sign of Shellington and Pearl? We're approaching them now, Captain. Hurry, Dashy, we need all the help we can get. Fast! There they are, matey! Crash into them! Quasi, maybe you can reel them in! Already on it! Almost! Yeah. Almost! Yeah. Yeah. Ha ha! Got him! Yeah. Shellington! Ho! Wake up! Oh, what? Jumping jellyfish! Shellington! The cow! Grab the cow! Ah, we've got to 
gotta get back to the kelp forest. It's no use, Cap. The urchins are already getting through. This looks like a job for a keystone species. Shellington! The gub connector is working, Peso. I'll have the gub eggs back together in no time. Huh? Peso? Yeah, got you! Uh oh. Tweak! Come in, Tweak! Can you hear me? One more time, Quasi. One, two, three. Oh dear, it's hopeless. This ship isn't going anywhere, and neither am I. We're not giving up, Lenny. Yow! The gub's moving all by itself. Tweak must have repaired the gub connector. If we follow the glider, we'll find our way back. Lenny, are you all right? <laughs> I suppose so, thanks to my extra hard shell. <laughs> Ow! Oh, my flipper! It hurts from being wedged in those rocks. I can't swim in this condition. You'll just have to leave me here, I suppose. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You need to see our medic. Hey, so come on, we'll carry you. Hello, Tweak! Hello! Where are you? Whoa! Flappity flippers the octo ski. Tweak fixed the gub connector. Wait for us. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Hey, so you found my rover cam. Thanks. You're welcome. And there's the rest of the gub eggs, right on schedule. It's Captain Barnacles and Quasi. And the Loggerhead Sea Turtle is with them. Oh no, he's hurt. This flipper splint should do the trick. Oh, it feels much better. Thanks. I guess things are looking up after all. Lenny's on the mend, the rover cam is back, and the Gup X is all in one piece. Now, we just have to find our way back to the Octopod. Um, Cap, I fixed up the Gup connector, but I'm afraid the mapping system still doesn't work. How will we find our way out of here? Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll spend the rest of our days lost in the sea of vanishing ships. Lost? Oh, I never get lost. We loggerheads have a great sense of direction. I travel in and out of here all the time. You don't get confused in all this murky seaweed? Not a bit. <laughs> and now that you've fixed my flipper, I'm ready to swim. Then lead the way, Lenny. Don't mind if I do. Our mums. Well, perhaps we can help you find your mums. Help us find them. No, no, we want them to find us. That's why we're making all this noise. What are you, anyway? We're walruses, of course. You're too small to be real walruses. Walruses are big, with big, pointy tusks. These are walrus pups. Oh, so they're babies. But we're still 100% walrus. Understood. Where did your mums go? They went to find food, but they've been gone for a really very long time and now we're hungry. Very hungry. Really very hungry. Hmm. Let's see if we can spot your mums out there. Why don't you just go looking for them? We're too hungry to swim very far. And anyways, our mum said to wait right here and not move. So we're not moving. <laughs> An iceberg. And it's moving fast. Her mum said not to move from this ice flow. Well, they didn't say what to do if the ice flow moved. I know what to do. Cubs, would you tell the Octo Alert? Octonaut to the HQ. and I are on a runaway iceberg with three walrus pups. The pups are too weak from hunger to swim very far. And we got to sound the octo alert. We need to get these walrus pups to safety. Captain, we've located your iceberg. We'll be there as soon as... Uh-oh. 
Shiver me whiskers! You're on a crash course with two other icebergs. Oh, no. When the icebergs crash into each other, you can all get hurt. <sighs> Quasi, Peso, take the Gup S and catch up to us as fast as you can. And please bring something for the walrus pups to eat. They're really very hungry. Tunip, you and the Vegimals can help me prepare some bottles of walrus pup formula. <laughs> We're on our way, Captain. To the Gup S, mateys! We'll catch up to that iceberg and fast. Ready to mix up some Warrus Pop formula? Rubble, rubble. Yeah, I've got lots of different shells. <gasps> you? What are you doing here? We all heard that, right, mateys? What am I doing here? You're in my new home. Your new home? It was on my side of the line. I captured it with my spear claw. Well, then, maybe we need to settle this the mantis shrimp way. My smash claw against my spear claw. <laughs> Laws of danger. Now leave my new home at once or prepare to face my super strong hammer smash! Ha! Hammer smash! Now you must suffer my super fast lightning spear! <laughs> Jumping jellyfish! It's a mantis shrimp showdown! Ultimate super spear! Ultimate super smash! Octonauts, we have to stop this! Please, mantis shrimp! You'll hurt each other! Out of my way! We got no problem with you. This fight for our new home is between us and our claws. Easy now. Why don't we take you back to the reef and... No! Uh, maybe you two need a moment to calm down. There. A little time apart should do the trick. Uh, Camp, we got a vegetable stuck in the kitchen vent. Oh. Again. On my way. What about us? We need help getting out of these old shells. Don't worry, I've got a shell removal kit in the sick bay. Shellington, will you help me carry it? We'll be right back. Hear that? The big guy wants us to calm down. I heard, and I am already calming down at a very fast speed. That's funny, because everyone knows I'm the strongest in the sea at calming down. But you do not have my super fast calming move. <coughs> ah, so calm. <coughs> I'm the calmest, because I could break out of this tank any moment, but I choose not to. Oh, please, I'm so calm. I could shatter this tank with one spear! No! My double whammy hammer smash is stronger! Uh-oh. <laughs> Hardly! My triple whammy spear is faster! <laughs> Why, I order? <laughs> Maybe they don't know what the word calm means. <laughs> this shell removal kit is just what we need. <gasps> oh my! Wha what? They went that away. Lateral. I sure hope this works. Yes! Now, we'll get to the others faster and you can say bunch of munchies. Don't worry, Tunic. This will steady her out. 
Twig. In the meantime, let's rescue the fish that are stuck in the lower branches of the trees. Robert, Robert, will you and the other poison dart frogs help us find all the stranded fish? We'll do, we'll do. When we find the fish, we'll point and signal with a... <laughs> That's how we croak. Herbert, Herbert, will you keep watching the eggs and signal us when they start to hatch? We'll do, we'll do. Thanks, poison dart frogs. Let's hop to it. All right, Octonauts, let's hop to it too. Found a fish, found a fish. Oh, a piranha. All right, into the bucket and no biting. Here's another, here's another. I'll take you back to the river, little fishy. Up here, up here. This way, this way. I see one, I see one. Coming, coming. Me too, me too. Tadpoles! The tadpoles are hatching! The tadpoles are hatching! Congratulations! I'm excited! So excited! Time to start putting the tadpoles in puddles! Is it just me? Or is it starting to get windy? That's not wind! Yeah! It's a giant flying bug! It's the girl bait! Whoa! I'll base the design on the dragonfly! And the H is for helicopter. You're just in time, Twig. Octonauts, let's do this. Octonauts, Shellington is stranded down in the ice lake. We have to rescue him. The temperature is dropping fast. If the hole freezes over, there'll be no way to get him out. Then there's no time to lose. Quasi, you're with me. Peso, you stay here and keep your eye on the ice hole. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> oh, this is taking forever, Captain. I think I know a faster way down. Agreed. On three. One... Two, three! Yeah! No sign of him, Captain. Shellington! Shellington! Captain Barnacles! Did you hear that? Nah, it's just the cold playing tricks with your mind. There it is again. What was it Shellington said? Something about tiny creatures. Follow those voices. Shellington? Oh, dear. Shellington! <gasps> Shellington! Captain! Quasi! How did you find me? We showed them the way. That's Mervyn. He lives down here with all his microbe friends. The cold, dark water doesn't bother them at all. Hello. Hey. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Captain, come in. The ice hole is closing fast. Hurry! Quasi, Shellington, we'd better get out of here. Already? This is the most excitement we've had down here in, like, a million years. Maybe two. Thanks for your help, Mervyn. Don't worry. We'll come back and visit sometime. Bye. 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 Thank you. Now, let's eat some more rust, man. Quick, before the hole freezes over completely. <laughs> <laughs> Peso, lower the rescue line. Ooh. Right, Peso, pull us up. Hold on tight. Flappity <laughs> flipper! <laughs> Peso, hit the brakes. Brake? Brake? Break! Oh. Nice driving, Peso. Thank you, Captain. 
I still can't believe you found actual living creatures down there, Shellington. How many microbes do you think were down there? Oh, well, let's see. Carry the two, multiply by five, about 10,003,062. Oh, no, wait, I forgot about that big one with the squiggly tail. All right, settle in, everyone. The Vegimals have prepared hot chocolate. Club of summer! Oh, and kelp cakes. Thanks, Junip. Thanks for the snacks, matey. Uh, but what are we here to see? Quite an amazing sight, actually. And that is? Dashi set up the remote cameras on the beach so we wouldn't miss a thing. Shiver me whiskers. What won't we be missing? Why, the baby sea turtles, of course. Oh, carry on, matey. Right now, the turtles are still in their eggs, in nests buried under the sand. I'll show you how they got there, Tunip. This is a video we took eight weeks ago. The mother sea turtles swim up onto the beach at night to lay their eggs. It's the only time they ever leave the water. And this is the same beach right now. The eggs have been under the sand all this time and should be ready to hatch at any moment. And we get to watch it happen. I can't wait. Uh, nothing's happening, matey. Well, one can never be exactly sure when the eggs will hatch. It could be a few more minutes or a few more days. Days? <laughs> Have patience, everyone. I'm sure it'll be well worth the wait. What is it? Oh, are the ants hatching? No, it's the wave tracker. A really big wave is in the area. It's moving fast and it's heading for the beach. Flippity flippers, what about the eggs? <gasps> They'll be washed away. Chopper! Won't they be safe buried under the sand? Sea turtle eggs are very sensitive. If they get too wet, they'll never hatch. Then we'd better do something. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have to rescue those eggs before the wave hits the beach. Once we've gathered up the eggs, we'll need to move them to a new beach fast. Don't you worry about that, Shellington. We'll be ready. Come on, Tuna. Tuna! Everybody else, into the Gup eggs. Come in, Shellington. We need help identifying a mysterious creature. <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What can you tell me about it? Well, it's got tentacles. And it can throw eight things at once. And it squirts ink. And it's orange. Hmm. Oh, sounds like a giant Pacific octopus. I agree. My Pacific cousins are the largest species of octopus. And they often make their homes in old abandoned ships. <laughs> well, how about that? I modeled the octopod after the giant Pacific octopus. And now there's one living in it. Yeah, but why did it steal our converter? It was probably just curious. Giant Pacific octopuses are very clever and they always investigate new things. Hmm. Then maybe we can give it something new to be curious about. This ought to get its attention. And then, when it comes to investigate, we'll get our converter. Everybody, into position. Lights out. Look! It's huge. Shh. Just a little closer. Now! <laughs> Stay alert, everyone. It might make a swim for it. Yeah. It escaped. And it got the flashlight out of the jar. But where did it go? Huh? <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Follow that octopus. Easy now. We're not going to hurt you. Oof. Seal the HQ. Ow! 
All escape routes locked tight, Cap. Octonauts, search everywhere. Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the Octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times, and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Peso, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do. I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on. Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. <laughs> a tree lobster? Ha <laughs> I knew we'd find them. Listen to this. Lord Howe's Island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! Ah! A baby tree lobster. I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. Yow! He's getting away! Yow! Quasi, Peso, what's going on? There's a real life tree lobster loose on the ship! We have to catch him, Captain! Sound the octo alert! Octonauts to the H. Uh, no, um, Octonauts to the lodge! Um, follow that tree lobster! <laughs> Incredible! I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> we knew that tree lobsters were real, didn't we, Peso? <laughs> He's heading for the kitchen. Watch out, vegetables! Almost there. And perfect. Now, start digging to the right. They've stopped. Something's in their way. I think it's a large rock. Sounds like they're trying to move it. It must be too heavy to move. Vegemals, you need to go around it. They're going round it, Captain. Yes, they're back on course. Time's running out. Quickly, Vegemals, dig as fast as you can. They're almost there. Yeah, almost may not be good enough. I'll try and slow it down. Uh-oh, that don't sound good. Maybe we should get out. The children, follow Mama. Oh, no! Get behind me, kids! Another cave-in. Super! Well, I'll be! Baba Baba! We're right behind you! Come on, kids! Dashie, did they all get out safely? I can't see anything. The cave-in cut off the signal. I like our new digs. Reminds me of my old home. Well done. And Mama and her young fish, all safe and accounted for. Got my burrow, got my kids. 
Huh? Hey, where's Gilbert? Gilbert! 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 Help! Help! Get down here! It's Gilbert! He must be trapped in the old burrows. We have to rescue him. But how? It's too dangerous down there for the vegetables. I know. The Rover Cam. A delicate operation like this calls for the steady flippers of a medic. Octonauts, totem pole. We have to hold the arch up as long as we can. Uh, hurry, Peso! Peekaboo! Are you all right? Yeah, but my tail isn't. Gilbert's tail is pinned. He's stuck. Ah, the rover can. Any way to maneuver it to free Gilbert's tail. Careful, matey. One wrong move and the whole tunnel can collapse. If anybody can do it, it's you, Peso. Just tap it with your fin when you want to sing, and your songs will go from this... Go ahead, Joe. ...to this! <laughs> I sound like a regular humpback. Now I can... Oh. Nothing to worry about. Just gotta fix it. Oh, too loud! Oh. Oh. The problem's fixed. But now Joe's gone. A loud noise frightened him. We better find him fast, or the other humpbacks will be gone for good. There's no time to lose. Let's go. <sighs> no sign of him, Captain. We found Joe before, so we can do it again. Peso, check the tracker and look for a big shape. Uh, I'm looking at the tracker, and it's covered in big shapes. Of course. We're surrounded by whales. We have to find Joe before they pass by on their way to the feeding ground. Maybe we could sing. I'm not sure now's the time for singing, matey. No, I mean, what if we could use the Joe coder to make me sound like Joe? Good idea. Then Joe will want to see who else sings like him. Tweak. I'll just change that and reverse this and there. That ought to do the trick. Right, Peso. Go for it. Here goes nothing. I hope you're listening, Joe. <gasps> what was that? It might be my tummy. Think I ate something funny for lunch. Keep trying, Peso. You can do it. <gasps> That's it! He's done it, Captain! Now we just have to hope Joe can hear it and wants to see who's singing his song. There aren't many whales left to pass, Captain. Soon it'll be too late. Come on, Joe. Where are you? What? That sounds like my voice. Peso, where'd you learn to sing like that? I'll show you, Joe. Oh, it ain't gonna make that terrible noise again, is it? It's fixed, I promise. <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe it. That works. <laughs> now, that's more like it. Our mission is to answer a mysterious call for help from the other side of the world. Tracker? Right, sir. I'm sending through a map now. Here we are in the Arctic. The call for help came from this ice research station in the Antarctic. And who lives at the station? Tracker says it's been shut down for years. And nobody's heard a peep from it until now, mateys. Dashy, set a course for the Antarctic. Tracker, we'll keep you posted. Cool. I mean, right, sir. And good luck. Tracker out. Activating launch.
Welcome to Antarctica. Octonauts to the GUP S. We've come all the way from the Arctic to the Antarctic, but really, what's the difference? Ah, uh, there are lots of differences, Quasi. For one thing, polar bears live only in the Arctic. And penguins live in the Antarctic. And just look at the map. The Arctic is north. The Antarctic is south. When it's winter in the Arctic, it's summer in the Antarctic. The Arctic is a frozen ocean surrounded by land. The Antarctic is a frozen land surrounded by ocean. They're both too cold for cats. But the Antarctic is even colder than the Arctic. The Antarctic is the coldest place on Earth all year round. Ooh, me whiskers are shivering just thinking about it. Hot chocolate. That should warm me up. Thanks, Tunip. What was that? I'm not sure. Whatever it is, we're surrounded. And one of them's heading straight for us. Hey, sir? Uchu. Hogtonauts, this is my cousin, Uchu. He's an Adelie penguin. What are you doing out here? We're making a big once-a-year journey from the sea back to our nesting grounds on the land. That can't be an easy trip. No, but I've seen so many amazing things along the way. <laughs> Look at the beautiful shape of this ice. Uju, please keep up with the rest of the group. Oh, but look who I found! Cousin Peso. So nice to see you. I wish we had time to talk. We have to get to our nesting ground soon. And after this big swim, we still have a long march across the land. Close to Gup I, the Emperor Penguin Mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers. We're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin Mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashi, take the Gup S under now. Captain, Emperor Penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. There, Captain. Good work, Dashi. Peso, let's bring her aboard. Oh. Easy oh. does it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. <laughs> She's an emperor penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? But I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. The wind's picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? I can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? Turn northwest past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Feels like we're picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. Oh, oh. 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 I seem to be bumping into a lot of penguins today. <laughs> What's happening? Octonauts, abandon the Gup S now! Never a dull moment in the Antarctic. You had us worried, Captain. I'm all right. But I can't say the same for the Gup S. We'd better sound the Octo Alert. 
Octonauts, to your station. So, how did you sneak aboard? Aha! A stowaway! Wait, dead ahead. There they are. Whoa! Is that the double orc? Octonauts, here's the plan. Quasi, you go around the back and I'll... Quasi! You can't hold me here, you scurvy beast! So much for the plan. Activate helmets. Oh, oh, can I go too? No. no. Uh, Quasi, we may not be dealing with a Dabalock after all. Uh, of course not. I know Dabalocks, Captain. This is no Dabalock. Hmm, it looks like a plant to me. It is a plant. A type of seaweed called kelp. We're at the edge of a kelp forest. Dashi and Shellington are trapped in the kelp. We've got to get them out. We'll have to use the tow line to pull them out. Peso, check on Shellington. Quasi, let's get the tow line. Huh? <gasps> this kelp is strong. We'll have to pull really hard. No. Wait, the guppy isn't the only thing stuck in there. Look. We have to be careful. If we pull too hard, it could hurt those baby snails. You're right, but we have to free the gup right now. Hmm. It's, it's like a bandage. They're just wrapped up in a giant bandage. Hmm. Do you think you could unwrap it? Yes, sir. That's a lot of unwrapping to do, Captain. And we do have a spare helmet. Pinto? Aye, aye, Captain. Remember, this is a real mission. I'll follow your orders just like a real Optonaut. Optonauts, take your positions. If you don't mind. Captain, peel from the top. Aye, aye, Peso. Quasi, take it under. Aye, aye, Peso. Pinto, open that leaf. Aye, aye, Peso. Nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. I think there's something alive in here. together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots okay but hurry I'm freezing and this light hurts my eyes you live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot the octopod must seem very strange to you oh, I want to go home tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the midnight zone as fast as we can in the meantime We'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. Wrong. Okay, let me try again. 
Wrong. Hold on. Yep. That ought to do it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. <sighs> you know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashie can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. Perfect. It's just a little dark down here. Nothing to be afraid of. There's something huge up ahead. Oh, sorry. It's just some big rocks. I think I found him. Ooh. Come on, show yourself. Ow! Ah, it was just a manta ray. Oh. Eh? Octonauts, I may have found the giant squid. Oh. Activating creature detector. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it was just an eel. Octonauts, continue the search. Oh. Ah, these fish biscuits smell wonderful. Perhaps a little snack will cheer me up while I wait. Cousin Irving! Inkling! Hmm, something smells good. Would you like some fish biscuits? Coming right up! Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Cousin Inkling? Cousin Irving. Are you all right? I've been so worried about you. Oh, I'm just hungry. I've been looking for food all day. Ah, so that's why you grabbed the gup, eh? You thought it might be food. Um, do you have any more of those delicious fish biscuits? Captain, another basket of those excellent biscuits, please. Cousin Irving is very hungry. So, how did you find each other? Oh, I smelled those fish biscuits. A giant squid has an excellent sense of smell. Here, have another basketful. Rather. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing tastes better than a carrot fresh out of the garden, Tunip. I'll get this one for you, me hearty. These vines are perfect for swinging. You should try it, Tweet. No thanks, Quasi. I'm happy just pulling up carrots. Ah, that's not very exciting. There's got to be some action around here somewhere. <laughs> Captain, I think I'm going to take the gut bee out for a spin because uh, because I need to um, 
Let me guess. Practice your driving skills. Aye, oh, that's it. Practice my driving skills. <laughs> Dolphins are fast, even the babies. But I reckon I can catch up with them. Wow! Woohoo! So long, dolphins. <laughs> it's always nice to take the gut be out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh. He must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find her. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut B near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the guppy slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It... <laughs> Captain Quasi. <gasps> Captain, behind you. It's the <laughs> whale shark. You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! Her tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashy's hair clipping. But Dashy must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <sighs> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> Oh. Ah! Oh. 
We seem to have landed. Somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. I'm going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one. And that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell, grow up, get bigger, and then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, I've never performed a crabectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crabectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Step one, steady the shell. Step two, fasten the hose. Step three, prepare landing pad. Ready, Tweak? I really hope this works. Me too. <clears throat> Captain, we're ready for the crabectomy. All right, Peso. This should take five big pumps of air to push him out. You'll have to really put some muscle into it. Flippers in place, Captain. All right. On my count. Five. <laughs> four. <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, two. <laughs> one. <laughs> You better hurry up. Your friend is moving fast. Yeah, Sandy's a leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are fast swimmers, that's for sure. Visitor arriving in five, four, three, two, one. I'll open the octo hatch, Tweak. Sandy! Tweak! <laughs> hey! Octonauts, this is my good friend, Sandy. Welcome aboard the Octopod. I'm in a bit of a hurry, but I'm so glad I could stop by. How far did you swim to get here? Oh, show us on the map. Well, I swam all the way from there to here. Yes. Your flippers must be really tired. I'm used to it. Leatherback sea turtles travel farther in the ocean than any other sea turtles. The trick is to find a really fast current. A fast current? Ah, tell us more. A current is like a river in the ocean that's always moving. I swam in one to get here, and today I'm looking for a really fast one. But what's the big hurry? I have to get back to the beach where I was born so I can lay my eggs there. Hold on. I made something for you. This is a friend finder. 
I'll put this on your back. And look! There you are! The friend finder helps me find you on the map to see where you're going. Tweak, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Can someone point me in the right direction? Let's see. If you're going back to the beach where you were born, you should head that way. Gotta go, Octonauts. Thanks for the friend finder, Tweak. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. bye. Oh, well. Look, there she goes. Hmm. I wonder why she's going that way. That's not the way to the beach. <laughs> Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Captain Barnacles, you'd better come down to the engine room. So, what's the problem, Tweak? The Octopod sounds like she needs an emergency cleanup and repair cap. If we don't get working on it right away, she'll fall apart. Octonauts, we need all hands on deck. The Octopod needs cleaning and repairing. Yeah, oh, cleaning? Captain, do you really need me to come back for just a little cleaning? Yow! What's making that scurvy noise? The octopod, Quasi. We need everyone to help get a ship shape again. Over and out. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! <laughs> what was that? A wandering whirlpool? Sorry. Huh? Uh, didn't mean to cause you any trouble. You almost sunk me gut. Um, matey, did you know you're floating upside down? I am? Oh, dear. One minute I'm swimming with my friend and the next I'm lost and I can't find her anywhere. I I'd better flip back over. Hold on a minute. Let me just... Whoa! Shiver me whiskers! Oops. Oh, sorry. Very sorry. Oh, I'm so confused. Something's wrong with my sonar. Sonar? Sonar is my way of working out where things are. When I'm looking for something, I send out sound waves to help me find it. I'll just be on my way now. Must find my friend. We always swim together. Uh, I don't know where she is. That's one big mixed up whale. We'll have to get started on repairs to the octopod without Quasi. Tweak. Well, the arms need to be welded, the screws need to be tightened, the floors need to be vacuumed, the dents need to be banged out, the windows need to be cleaned, and the water tanks need to be flushed. And the joints need oiling. So, Octonauts, let's do this. Two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh? Sorry. You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud. Yes, you are. It's oh, too Captain. Loud. You're too Maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Aye, but maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm free! <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. <gasps> Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. 
Are you both all right on your own? Uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a uh, fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh-oh. Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh, well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I look scary. Nobody mess with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. Nah, yeah, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay, uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Rah! Now you try it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nearly. You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Ah, uh, no. Unbelievable! No snacks? Well, what are you gonna do about that? You said you're gonna help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Huh. I don't have a plan. Turn right! There's nowhere to turn. We've got to stop the ship. Now. <gasps> Ten seconds till we hit the ice wall. <laughs> a fast, you mutinous, scurvy octopod! Stop! Six seconds till we hit the wall. Five. Hold on! <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> one. It's okay. We've stopped. I know, but you're standing on my foot. Oh, sorry. Phew, that was close, mateys. Now what, Captain? If we can't go forward, then we go back the way we came. Ow! Captain, look out! We're trapped. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Captain, are we in trouble? Well, Peso, we're trapped here in the freezing cold waters of the Arctic Ocean, surrounded on all sides by ice, with no clear way to escape. So that's a yes, then. Ah, you know, these ice walls are often quite thin. It might be possible to break through one of them. Aye, let me out there in the gut B, Captain. I'll smash that ice to smithereens. Or I could add a drill to the gut D and... Uh-oh. I was afraid this might happen. What might happen, Tweak? We've stopped moving. And it's so cold that ice is clogging the engines, shutting them down. Cutting off all power to the octopod. Ah, no good. The ice is too thick. If only I could find a place where the ice is thin. What's that noise? Captain, look over there. Something's breaking through the ice wall. <gasps> a blast! It is the legendary deep sea unicorn. Ha, that's no unicorn. It's a narwhal. A narwhal? A narwhal. 
Fascinating! It's a very special type of whale with a spiral tusk growing from its head. They only live here in the Arctic. <gasps> uh, we may have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. <laughs> and look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin. I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts. We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed, but first, our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Hey, sir, we've brought back a flying fish who needs your help. Aye, Captain. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Now, what seems to be the trouble? It's me tail fin. <sighs> you need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, it feels better already. You should stay here and rest a bit before you take off again. Okay. Thank you. Captain, the flying fish will be able to fly again in no time. Ooh, flying fish. That must be the remarkable thing that my great-grandfather saw. I'll add that to his book right away. You tell him. No, you tell him. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> You lost it? But... but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water, and before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. But how? Those flying fish got away from us before, but now we know how to catch up to them. We just have to leap out of the water and fly like they do. But, Captain... How in the seven seas are we going to do that? Tweak? I'm on it, Cap. I'll get a little advice from my new friend on how to make the guppy fly. Here, Shellington. <gasps> Give it a whirl. Um, but, uh, well, no, I, I've never been the best driver. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh no! Look! They're going to hit the octopod! Oh! Oh! Shiver! Whiskers! Don't worry! Yes. <laughs> With the smart gut remote control, the gubs are totally crash proof! They stop by themselves before they crash into anything! Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. hey. Oh. <gasps> 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 Tweak, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Without the remote, I can't control the gups. Five runaway gups. Sound the octo alert. 
Octonauts, to the octopod. Octonauts, we need to catch these runaway gups. The gups went that way, towards that underwater canyon. Tweak, how soon can you have the remote fixed? Faster and you can say, uh, six to eight weeks. I have to order some new parts, so it's going to be a while. Hmm. Then we'll just have to swim out there and round up the gups ourselves. Swim? Even I can't swim that fast. Tweak, are there any other vehicles that we could use? Well, there is one. The Gup F. The Gup F? But before I could grab it, I got slimed! Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, Dagnabbit! Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was me grandfather's and it should be mine! But Quasi... Three! Okay, boys, let him have it! <gasps> Give me two seconds, and I promise I'll be... And then we ran in and Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. <gasps> um. Monster of the Deep, known as the Nakawak. The, the Naka what? The Nakawak. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? 
I bet that Nakawak comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but uh, I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters! Look! Over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi! Right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Too relaxed. Aye, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jump in, jellyfish. It's a walrus challenge. Ugh. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger! Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful! Quasi, try to get back into position! Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting on my... Hey! 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 Intruders! Whoa! Run! Captain, come in! What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time! <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean, that strange white clam? That's it. My medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief. But that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? <clears throat> oh no. His flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. <laughs> if it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... <laughs> oh, my 
my flipper really does hurt. Might as well start at the top. Oh, there's all kinds of fish up here. That's because we're in the sunlight zone. The ocean is like a cake with three layers. Sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. The sunlight zone is the top layer. Aye, it's where most sea creatures live. This doesn't look like home. And I don't see any other sea stars. Hmm, there might be some on that coral reef. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Ahoy! There be one! Wow, that's a lot of arms. Um, excuse me. Have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle here? Well, that depends. Which one of you is Twinkle? Now, if it's you... No, no. I'm a penguin. Well, that's a relief, because you'd make one silly-looking sea star. Me! Me! I'm the sea star. Of course you are! Who said you weren't? Now, I'm a sunflower star myself, and... It... I'm sorry, what was the question again? Ah, have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle? Well, why didn't you say so? Now, let's see. Yes, I'm sure I've seen some stars that look like her. If only I could remember where. Hmm, maybe it was over there. Or, or was it there? Oh, oh, wait, wait, I know. It was... Ah! A porcupine puffer. Puffers eat sea stars. Peso, quick, hide Twinkle. <gasps> <laughs> Nothing here but my hat. <laughs> you. Are you okay? Yes, but now I really want to go home. Time to search in deeper water. Gosh, it's getting dark out there. That's because we're getting further from the sunlight, down into the twilight zone. It's too dark for plants to grow, but there are still plenty of animals. Including sea stars. A vast, mateys. There's a mess of them right there. Excuse me, I see you're all sea stars. Nah, we're called brittle stars. What's it to you? We're just trying to help our friend Twinkle here find her way home. But we don't know where that is, matey. Have you seen any sea stars who look like her? Mm, I don't know. She looks a little like my cousin, Shirley. No way. She's got much shorter arms. <sighs> Belugas, follow me! It's Fish Biscuit Feast Time! Yeah! Yes, it's working! Whiskers. Those little fishies think this is food for them. Go away. Go on. Go. Go. Leave it alone. Belugas, follow me. It's dinner time. Too many scary noises have to stay by the hole where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> oh, oh, it, it, uh, oh. oh, my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. 
Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso. It's showtime. It's working. Peso's xylophone playing sounds just like the Beluga song. You have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. If we follow the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. There's another one! There! <laughs> Fascinating! The garden eels are even faster than you are, Quasi! Shellington! Are you all right? Well, my leg keeps falling asleep, but I think I'll be okay. Come on, we've got to get back to the octopod. Put this on and let's go! Quasi? Peso? How's it going out there? Well, we found Shellington and we followed some garden eels up this cliff, but then we lost... Yow! Was it? Uh, yow! Uh, gotcha! Uh, Mayday, Captain! My tail's tangled in tentacles! Help! Quasi! Come in, Quasi! Mm. Oh! <sighs> I never should have let Shellington stay out to study those garden eels. Ah, oh, garden eels! That's it! If I can't get through the jellyfish, I'll go under them, just like the garden eels. Professor Inkling, does anything live in the rocky cliff beneath the octopod? Interesting question. As far as I know, nothing lives down there. So I wouldn't be harming any creatures if I made a tunnel through it. Not at all. There's only solid rock there. But what about your paw? Don't worry about me, Professor. Prepare the Gup D. I'm gonna need some extra tunneling power. You got it, Cap. Just hold on. <laughs> A garden eel living in a rocky cliff? It can't be! That's no garden eel, that's... Captain, Captain Barnacles! Barnacles. <laughs> ah, good to see you again, Shellington. Come on. We've got to hurry back to the octopod before this tunnel starts to fill up with jellyfish. Tweak, close the octa hatch. The jelly not only uses its comb to swim, Peso, but also to handle food. Its little tails are tickling you. Luckily, you're too big to be eaten. There. Feel better. Better, better. Huh? My medical bag. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Quasi! Help! Yow! 
Peso, what are you doing inside that thing? Peso, inside. Inside Jelly's belly. Let him go, you bulbous beast. Wait, don't hurt him. I'm all right. Mostly. Quasi, how did Peso get in there? Never mind that, Captain. How are we going to get him out? It may be a bit tricky. As you can see, the comb jelly is see-through. But he has several clear layers of skin surrounding a clear stomach full of water. And Peso. Go, go! No! No, go, go! No! Peso, we're trying to work out how to get you free. Stop playing around. But I'm not. Jelly, please stop. Ah. <laughs> Quasi, Dashy, get the guppe. Shellington, let's go after him. Whoa! I got it! I got it! Oh! Oh, he got it all right. Dashy, get me close. Closer. Ha! I've got you! I've got you! Jelly, stop! That's my friend! Quasi cat! Cat fish! Not a catfish. He's a... Oh, never mind. Quasi, are you OK? Just give me whiskers a moment to stop shivering. Ah! I've got him, Captain. Oh, no! They're being swept away by that current of fast water. This is getting serious. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the gups. Octonauts, Peso is stuck inside a comb jelly, and the comb jelly is stuck inside a fast-moving current. Oh, my! Oh, no! <gasps> Peso, can you hear me? Peso! It's no good, Captain. I'm just getting steady. Tweak, you stand by. We may need your help. Got it, Cap. And we'll follow that current. Mr. <laughs> Shellington. We've lost track of the sardines. Is there anything that could help us find them again? Yes, Captain. I believe we can find the sardines by listening for their burping sound. Sardines burp? Actually, yes. Sardines and many other fish swallow air to help them stay afloat. But when they want to sink lower, they burp the air out again. Captain, you should be able to pick up the burping sound on the Gup's underwater microphone. Now, just listen and be very quiet. I don't suppose the sardines are taking a nap? No, that's just an elephant seal snoring. What's that, Shillington? That's just a crab clicking its claws. <coughs> ah, burping. Dashy, can you tell us where it's coming from? I'm on it, Captain. Straight ahead, near a coral reef. Then that's where we're heading. Barnacle's out. Dina, we may have found your school. That's good news. Best be on your way, Dina. But I don't want to leave you here, Quasi. I'll be fine. I'm with my school, remember? And you need to be with yours. Go on now. Thanks, Quasi, for all your help. Anytime. Stay safe out there. Just follow me, Dina. The burping is getting louder. We must be getting close. Don't tell me seahorses burp too, Shellington. Uh, actually, lots of fish do, Captain. We must have picked up seahorse burps instead of sardine burps. What if my school is so far away we never find them? Captain, the burps you hear now are coming from somewhere above you. This could be your school, Dina. Let's go. Must be very close now. My school! I can feel them with the scales on my skin. There they are! Whoops! Almost forgot to say thank you. And please thank Quasi for me. Don't mention it, Dina. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Bye, Dina. I'll let Quasi know you're all right. 
you go, Quaz. You're free. Come in, Quasi. We found Dina's school and she's safe and sound. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you, Peso. At least you're all right. That's what matters. I'll stay in the octopod. Tell me nose is all better. Then let's all head back to the octopod. And please stay close to the gup. Hope you've been comfortable in the launch bay, Lenny. Yes, thanks. And my nose is feeling much better. That's great news. I think today we can remove your bandages. And I can go home. Right, Peso? That's right. I'm going to miss you, Lenny. Oh, me too. Maybe you can visit the lagoon sometime and meet my friends. Shellington to Peso. Come in, Peso. Peso here, Shellington. There's a hurt sea star inside an underwater cave. We need your help right away. Yeah. I'll be right there. I'll have the guppy ready in a jiffy. I'll wait to go home till you get back, Peso. I'd like you to come with me and meet my friends. I'll be back as soon as I help this sea star. Over here, Peso! Good as new. Watch out for that hot steam! There must be lava under these rocks! No. Ah! Shellington! I'm trapped! Octopod, please come in! It's Shellington! Barnacle's here. What's up, Shellington? Peso is trapped in this cave! Please send help! Help is on the way, Shellington. <laughs> Open the octo hatch, Tweak! You got it, Cap! Aye, matey. But don't you worry. We're off to rescue him now. Peso helped save me. Now I've got to help save him. <laughs> My lemon shark nose is working again. My nose knows where to go. Uh-oh, Quasi. This isn't just a cave. It's a cave with hot lava under the rocks. Ouch! That means this cave could fill up with hot bubbles and steam any second. We've got to get Peso and the herd starfish out of there now. Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh! Spiky sea urchin! <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? Hmm. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings. Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. <laughs> Thank you, Dashy. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, huh, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Oh, jumping jellyfish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you doing? Lappity flippers. Cool! 
You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They Ooh, what's this? They love to play with each other. And make up new games. Hmm, it's impossible to see where we're going now. Captain, look! Ahoy there, mateys. I can clean this windscreen in no time. Thank you. Thanks, me hearty. No problem. Algae is my favourite snack. Well, matey, it's lucky for us that you like this scurvy muck. Ah, you sound like a pirate. Ah, yeah, I am a pirate. Oh, I've always wanted to meet a real live pirate. My name's Parrotfish Pete. Ah, a parrotfish named Pete. Me grandfather Calico Jack had a parrot named Pete. Ah, Calico Jack, the famous pirate, was your grandfather? So you've heard of him? I, I'm a big fan of pirates. What be your name? I be Quasi. I could be your sidekick. <coughs> Quasi and his trusty sidekick, Pete the Parrotfish. <coughs> Doesn't that sound great? Well, pirates usually have parrots as sidekicks, not parrotfish. Well, I've got a beak like a parrot, but I'm even better than a parrot. Look, I can change me colours. Wow. Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. And parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then, but we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey, so you'll have to keep up. Whoa! My first day is a trusty pirate sidekick, and I get to search for treasure! <laughs> Let's go, Parrotfish Pete! What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. Ahoy, mateys! This reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that! And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye, moray eels! These waters are full of them, matey! Hey. Okay. Now that rock looks just like an ordinary rock, and ordinary rocks don't sneak around. And so, to prove to myself that there's nothing to be afraid of, I'll just sit right down on this ordinary old rock and go! <laughs> Flappity blippers! What is it, me hearty? Stop that rock! Huh? No rock! It's the monster of Creepy Cove! And it has the captain's octo compass! <gasps> Quasi? Peso? What happened? We saw the monster. First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge! And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye, 
And it's got your octocompass. Deshi to Captain Barnacles. The octocompass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kill. Thanks, Dashy. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready. Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my octocompass. <laughs> the monster Give him whiskers! Another monster! <laughs> what? The real one! Gotcha! Don't worry, we won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove? No, I'm not a monster, I'm just a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish? Then how do you explain the fact that you changed your size and your shape and your colour? Mm, that's what we cuttlefish do, to protect ourselves so other animals can't hurt us. I can make myself disappear. Mm. Whoa! See, I look just like a rock. Oh. Or I can make myself look bigger. Amazing. Or I can shoot out ink and make it look like you're seeing another cuttlefish while I swim away. That's incredible. Hi, matey. We didn't mean to frighten you, Mr. Cuttlefish. We've only been chasing you because you have something that belongs to me. You mean this? Yes, that's my octocompass. Here, please take it. I was just playing with it. I like how it changes its look. Just like me. <laughs> You're right. Yep. You must be really excited to see Sandy. I sure am, Peso. Sandy the sea turtle is one of my best friends, and I don't get to see her very often. Sandy always swims through these waters this time of year. Then it's lucky that we're passing by. Sandy should be just on the other side of this canyon. I just hope we get there in time to see her. We'll be there faster than you can say, muncher, buncher. Uh, how does it go? Buncher, munchy, crunchy. Oh. What was that? <laughs> Captain, the octopod is losing electrical power. I can't control the ship. Let's switch to steering wheel. Quasi, peso, totem pole. Hi, Hi Captain. Yeah. Hang on, everyone. This could get bumpy. Flippers, we're heading straight for the canyon. Not if I can help it. Everyone okay? Sure thing. Hey, okay, Captain. Shiver me, whiskers. That was a close one, Captain. It's not over yet. The electricity's out, and we're right on the edge of a deep canyon. And we're already late for meeting up with Sandy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, sorry, Kip. No electricity, no octo alert. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Tunip. Sound the octo alert, vegetable style. That's more like it. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the octopod has crashed. It seems to have lost all electrical power. I think I found the problem, Cap. See that? Red means that the octopod's battery is out of electricity. And without electricity, the octopod won't work. 
Don't worry, Tweak. I'm just worried that by the time it's fixed, it'll be too late to meet up with Sandy. Calling all up to know. Quasi. Peso. Charter. Dishy. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi, activate Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. This green stuff is called algae. Check, check, check. It grows all around the sea. Check, check. Too much algae makes some creatures sick. They have to find new homes really quick. Too much algae is caused by pollution. Check, check. Cleaning up the waters a really great solution. Let's clean up. Let's clean up. Let's clean up. Creature reports! Creature reports! Creature reports! We're done with our mission! Up to notes at ease! Until the next adventure! Calling all up to notes! Quasi! Peso! Charter! Dishy! Inkling! Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi! Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Anemones start real little check, check, check. Until they split down the middle check, check. When they keep on splitting for a while They make a big anemone pile When two piles come face to face check, check, check. They use their special stingers to fight and claim their space Let's break! Go anemones! Go anemones! Go anemones! Our mission. Up to notes at ease. Until the next adventure. Calling all up to notes. Quasi. Peso. Charter. Dishy. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Back. Baby eels are born at sea. Check. 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 But when they grow up, they leave. Check, check. Young eels do anything it takes to swim up rivers into lakes. Sometimes on their journey there, they go over land where they can breathe the air. Let's break. Go eels, go eels, go eels. Our mission. Up to not at ease until the next adventure. Calling all up to not. Quasi. Peso. Charter. Dishy. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Belugas don't like strange loud sounds. Check, check, check. They're the shyest whales around. Check, check. Beluga whales swim in icy seas. But they still need air to breathe. As belugas swim along. Check, check, check. They like to chirp and sing and make beluga songs. Let's break. Go belugas, go belugas, go belugas. Our mission. Up to not at ease until the next adventure. Calling all up to not. Quasi. Peso. Charter. Dishy. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Blobfish live in waters deep. Check. And swimming's not the greatest feat. Check, check. That's because they're mostly made of jelly. With a funny face and jiggly belly. All they do is lie around. Check, check. And wait for the lunch to drop down to the ground. Let's break. Go, go, fish. Go, go, fish. Go, go, fish. Creature reports. Creature reports. 
Mr. Michelle. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure. Calling all Octonauts. Quasi. Hey, sir. Chanter. Dushi. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <coughs> Quasi. Activate Creature Report. Creature Report. You whale girls and boys Check, check Understand each other's sonar noise Check, check They use their sonar every day Sonar helps them find their way Watch out for blue whales because Check, check They are the biggest creature that there ever was That's right! Our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure. Calling all octonauts. Quasi. Hey, sir. Chanter. Do she? Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Ah, you can see right through comb jellies. Check. 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 Their mouth leads to their big, clear bellies. Check, check. They have little tails around their side. They use them to eat or glide. One more thing you ought to know. A jelly's jiggly body can even sometimes glow. That's right. Our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure. Calling all octonauts. Quasi. Hey, sir. Chanter. Do she? Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Ah. Go to Blenny's live near the shore. Check. They swim, but they do one thing more. Check, check. They can use their fins to stand and even walk upon the sand. Plenty fins work just like feet. Check, check. A fish that swims and walks. Hey, that's pretty sweet. That's right. Go, babies. Go, babies. Go, babies. Creature reports. Creature reports. Our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure. Calling all octonauts. Quasi. Hey, sir. Chanter. Do she? Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Ah. Cookie cutter sharks are little. Check. Check. But they are big pests when they nibble. Check, check. They leave round holes when they bite blubber. Sometimes they will even bite rubber. These sharks have bellies that glow. Check, check. They look like tiny fish when you see them from below. That's right. Go sharkies, go babies, go babies. Creature report, creature report. Our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure. Calling all octonauts. Quasi. Hey, sir. Chanter. Do she? Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Ah. Grab has an urchin on his back. Check. So Urchin gets to share the snack. Check, check. But there's more to their connection. The Urchins give the crabs protection. Crabs and Urchins help each other. Check, check. Symbiosis means they depend on one another. That's right. Done with 
the mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure. Calling all Octonauts. Quasi. Hey, sir. Shanta. Do she? Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Cuttlefish can change their size. Check, check, check. Growing right before your eyes. Check, check. They can change the color of their skin, which makes them good at blending in. They use their ink when they're afraid to make shadows of themselves, and then they swim away. That's right. Our mission. Octonauts at ease until the next adventure.